Hello everyone, Mike Levin here, May 16th, and uh, today I will be <clears throat> unboxing the 5 volt, 1 watt, USB mini Tesla coil. So, uh, this is a Tesla coil. Uh, I haven't even opened the box yet, I'm excited about this one. I got the smallest of the various units, there were all kinds on Amazon, hopefully this video will not be a catastrophe um, but uh, I got sort of you know with just a little more money you could get um, a 20 watt they call it colors you can get a 20 watt and then there's versions with loudspeakers and they're all just a little bit more expensive I ended up getting uh, the basic one here and I'm not even sure if it's a kit or not. So we're gonna find everything out together. But I got the basic one because I wanted to simplify. I wanted to be reductionist about it. So when I showed this, when I show it to Addie, uh, I can explain it all to her and it makes good sense. So it doesn't seem very kit-like. It seems like there's pieces that are gonna go together just fine. Oh, they even give you some sample LEDs to uh, explain the principle. So. For those who are uh, not into such things, and you might have seen me demonstrate my Van de Graaff generator behind me. Uh, Van de Graaff generator is a demonstration of static electricity, where you crank a crank and it uh, does ion transfer with brushes against a metal cone, and it builds up more and more uh, high voltage static, low amperage and low current, so that if you touch it, it doesn't do a lot of any real damage. Uh, that gets confused with Tesla coils quite a bit. And what a Tesla coil is, <laughs> and I guess I ought to read the uh, directions because I don't even know what side the ball goes on. I don't even know if these are. There's got to be instructions. What am I missing? Did I not get instructions or did I not? Or this opens up probably. It's got an inside. Many thanks your order. If any concerns, meanwhile, have a pleasant experience. Your feedback. I'm looking for some sort of quick start guide. Well, I got hope for... No, there's not going to be any documentation in this. You might, this might just be winging it. They might just assume you know what you're doing. So for someone brand new to Tesla coils, that's it's a bad assumption. So there's just a coil sort of dangling off the end here. And I guess that is uh, just keeping it tied tight. Okay, so what the heck are these things? And what am I about to do? And why do I have these two things here? Because I didn't know they were going to include these. Um, Tesla coils are capable of transing, transmitting electricity over the air. And we're not just talking like Wi-Fi signals and stuff for communication, the low energy uh, things. This is high voltage. It's using that same high voltage concept of a Van de Graaff generator, but it's using it differently. Uh, if you picture, if you can picture a sink where if you turn the sink on and the sink starts filling up, and then you have it drain. You have a plug on the drain, but when you unplug the drain, the water that goes out of the drain goes immediately right back into the sink, creating a feedback loop of resonance, which has a certain wavelength, which you're trying to, you know, because electricity is part of the uh, electromagnetic energy. So uh, electricity, just like light, has a certain wavelength. So you're trying to line up the resonation, the resonating of those frequencies as you pour it back in to create a feedback loop. And hopefully we don't spark a kitty. Let me get you out of the way before we plug this in. So let's plug it in without further ado. It can't, can't really be all that different from uh, what I have it set up here. And if it is, I'll unplug it real quick, right? Dun, dun, dun. This is the pink juice I talk about being in this room. The blue juice is in the other room. One van, one Tesla coil, and one very inter, two very interfering cats. So there's that thing on the end. 
Whoa. Okay, so there's a little bit of skill to it. No, oh, Billy. Oh, it definitely lit up. There's like an LED or something inside of there, I guess, to show you that it's lit. So even these things can't resist the basics. Maybe an LED has some real role in what it does, but it tells you it's, it's on. And I put the ball on top. And now that should be stepping up the electrical outlet. Yeah, I felt a zap from that free standing coil. I smell, I smell smoke being let out. I unplug. Maybe the electricity needs somewhere to go. Maybe Tesla coils always smell like the smoke being let out. We look for heat. We look for signs of product damage. I can't imagine that I have this, the, oh, yeah, this here. Is what? Out. Am I doing this incorrectly? Yeah, I plugged it directly in and I was starting to fry its circuits. Hey, some directions would help. Am I sure there are no instructions? Oh, that's a battery. So this can be demonstrated wireless. Oh, maybe I didn't do it wrong after all. It just can be done wirelessly with a battery. Let me unplug it to move uh, this little dangly thing here. Get the LEDs ready for the demonstration. And so the the five volts DC coming in here is going into here and kind of like a tuning fork going back and forth. And the five volts is probably becoming, I don't know, like 10,000 volts, or right? I'm, I'm not sure I have to look at the non-existent documentation. Um, but the high voltage, uh, low amperage, low, um, let's see, low wattage maybe, I'm not sure, but uh, the high voltage and the frequency resonation is supposed to be able to light things up. So let me put the ball back on top. This is weird. I should compare it to the picture in Amazon, right? Oh, they got like a little circuit board base in this picture. Oh, that's the 20 watt one. Yeah, yeah, the one I'm doing pretty much looks just like that. The ball might even be optional. I don't even know if that's particularly necessary. Let's look at how the ball looks on the um, other models. No, it's not showing it with a ball there. So I'll leave the ball off. I plug this in. And I'll just move the LEDs close to this and stuff. There, see? Wireless power transmission. Can you see that? Uh, the light is not great for that. Let's use Sammy as a background. Huh? So, I mean, you can, you can almost detect the edge of the field by going around this. Let me turn out some of the other lights that might be interfering. Uh, even the sun from the outside, I can get rid of for this. Didn't realize the necessity for dark, but let's try some other things. Here's a fluorescent black. Ah, oh, look at that. It's like... Ah, that's interesting what's happening. Because that's lighting up, it's making the fluorescence of the pen fluoresce. Okay, so is it? Yeah, that definitely is going from black to ultraviolet. Closing that window shade would really uh, add something to this. I'm not sure what experiment this ball is for. I should have Googled that first, but I should be able to move this in here and nope, that one resists it. They have a second LED. Yep. That looks like it's fluorescent. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna run over here, pull the lampshade down, or the um, window shade down, and uh, hopefully give you a more dramatic demonstration. Okay. Turn out some various lights I have around me. Oh, once again, I'm plugging my uh, arrow garden which at some point I should probably tell you all about. But now I've got as many lights as I can reasonably turn out, and we'll do that same demonstration again. Yeah, Tesla coil. It's an interesting scientific demonstration. I wonder, I mean, how else is that supposed to be used, right? So it, I guess maybe it affects the field shape. Definitely you can see it quite dramatically as you move these LEDs in there. That's wireless power transmission right there. I'm not sure how much this is similar or different to the principle of uh, induction, because um, uh, wireless charging is very popular these days. Um, because of Apple, of course. Once they do it, everyone... Oh, no, I guess in this case you can credit Android, can't you? They've been doing it longer. It was Apple Watch, but Android phones. So, you know, I'll write a, you know, a secret message. Um, and I'm starting to smell that metal smell again. Probably not wise, keeping that there, but... There you go. Can you see what I wrote? You can read that because this fluorescent bulb is being powered wirelessly, if you can read it. But I think I made the point. Anyway, that's the uh, very cheap um, five volt, one watt um, Tesla coil. Steps up voltage to incredibly high levels, uh, puts it in a little tuning fork harmonic, um, $14.99 uh, on, uh, on Amazon Prime. Thanks for joining me. Uh, hope to see you again soon, and don't forget to subscribe.